another video so today you can see we're in the office next to all of our exotic animal setup here and today we're going to go over a little maintenance on Frankie my axolotl down here so before we get started do me a favor hit the like button subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we post so you can probably tell that I'm wearing a t-shirt most of the time. I'm not wearing t-shirts, I'm wearing tank tops, that's what I prefer, especially in the Texas heat, but as you can see, I have this new Ramblin' Richardson's merchandise t-shirt on. Uh, we did a really small run of shirts with the great folks over at the workshop. So if you want to check out that video, I'll post that right up there. You can go check that video out. It's my highest viewed video, guys. The workshop puts in the work. They took us through the whole process of making the shirts and the screen printing. They are amazing. So if you have any kind of needs for anything from invitations to a birthday party or a wedding, to shirts, merchandise, anything like that, check them out. I'll leave the link to all of their good stuff down in the description box down below. You need to go check them out. They're definitely cool. So, about the shirts. If you'd like to buy one, the shirts are for sale. Leave a comment down below or find me on social media and let me know if you're interested. We do not have a website set up for the shirts yet, but that may come with some time. So if you'd like one, definitely hit me up and we'll work something out to get one shipped out to you. Okay, back to Frankie. Frankie is my axolotl. That is an aquatic salamander. If you're new to the channel, Frankie is kind of the reason why I started posting YouTube videos regularly. There's not a whole lot of axolotl upkeep and care out there. Big shout out to Frankie's Aquatics. I believe he's over in the UK. He has a YouTube channel and a podcast. And he is a wealth of knowledge so a lot of the information that I've got I've got from his channel so go check him out so water parameters for axolotls can be very specific and you need to check the water parameters fairly often until you can get a rhythm down and even then it's a good idea to go ahead and check probably once a week on the different water parameters and I'll go over that in just a second also, Frankie needs to be fed. He eats a diet of pretty much only sometimes blood worms, but mainly just nightcrawler earthworms. So I'm going to go grab an earthworm. We're going to give Frankie a little treat before we start uh, messing with the water in his tank. That can sometimes get him a little skittish. So we're going to give him a treat for being such a good guy before we start messing with his water. He dropped it. <laughs> All right. There we go. Good job, Frank. Got it. Just like that, dinner is done. Okay, so first thing on the list is the parameters. Let's talk a little bit about water parameters for an axolotl. There are three main things. You want to check your ammonia levels, you want to check nitrate, and you want to check nitrite. So when axolotls go to the bathroom, they will create ammonia. 
and there are little particles in the water that will eat the ammonia, nitrates, and then nitrites will eat the nitrates, and these all need to be in certain levels. So ammonia, nitrate, nitrite. You're going to need this little guy. This is the API Freshwater Master Test Kit. And this has a lot of stuff in it to test for pH and all sorts of other stuff, but it's gonna have ammonia, nitrate, and nitrite. And that's what we're going to need to check on his water parameters. You're also going to need one of these. Now, if you're an axolotl owner, you probably already have one of these. These are easy to remove any waste from the tank when you're spot cleaning. Axolotl poop is little sausages and you can just suck them up into this and then remove the waste. If those little sausages break, it's like, like dust. So, it's always good to clean the tank out as soon as it happens. Also, if you leave it in there, too much ammonia can build up and you can get ammonia burns, as it can also happen to fish and other aquatic animals. So, let's test out his water parameters. All right, so we're just gonna take our little syringe here. We're just gonna go into the water and suck some of that water up. That's it. We just need a little bit. And Frankie, none the wiser. Didn't even notice we were there. All right. So, you've got your fresh water master test kit by API. A couple of things are going to come in this kit. The main thing that you need to focus on is this little color chart in the back is gonna tell you everything you need. So as long as you follow these parameters, you should be okay. So you're gonna take one of these little vials that come in here and you're gonna fill it up. There's a little line right here. See that line? I'm gonna fill it up with water and then we're gonna add the corresponding chemicals to test for whatever it is we're testing for in the water. So first we're gonna do ammonia. Ammonia comes with two different chemicals. And on each bottle, it's gonna tell you how many drops of each you can put in there. I don't know if it'll focus, but this one says eight. And the other one also says eight. So we're gonna take our little turkey baster and we're just gonna fill it up. Right about there. Should be just fine. Just gonna set that one down. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-fill our other two that we're gonna need. So we're gonna test for ammonia, nitrate, and nitrite. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up all my test tubes with water so that we can just go ahead and add all the corresponding different chemicals to each water because they each take about five minutes until you get your results. So, fill this one up. Okay, so all done filling up all three of our vials. This little test kit will tell you exactly what you need to do for each one of these tests. Most of the instructions are gonna be like that. Add, cap, shake in some kind of form. So, got bottle, bottle one. Eight drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mix it up. <clears throat> then bottle number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. <laughs> All 
All right. Shake vigorously for five seconds. We're gonna set this down and we're gonna wait five minutes. Next up on the list is going to be our little friend, Nitrite. This one only takes five drops. That's it. So we're gonna take our little vial and we're gonna go. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. And shake vigorously for five seconds. And set aside. Now, the next one is nitrate. That's also gonna be a double bottle. This one's a little more complicated. And after you test, you should be testing every week or so. But after you start testing it often enough, you'll remember what the instructions were. So we got our bottle one, 10 drops. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Done. Cap it. Mix it. Now we shake this for 30 seconds. Thirty seconds. Now we add ten drops of this to our vial. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. And then we shake the test tube for a minute. One minute. We're gonna set that down. Now we gotta wait five minutes for all of the chemicals to react and give us our reading. So be back in five minutes. Okay, so our five minutes is up. We've got our API test kit parameter checklist here. And what you wanna do is just take your file, which is now a color, as you can see, this is yellow. This is the one that we did for ammonia. So you find ammonia on the list and you check your color against the list here. So you can tell we're pretty much at a zero. That's great. That's exactly where the water parameters need to be for an axolotl. They don't like ammonia at all. Next on the list is going to be our nitrite. Nitrite, as you can tell, this one is blue. And if we look on our little list here, that is the color that it should be. It should be at a zero. So we have nitrite at a zero, which is good. And then the last one on the list is nitrate. This is the one that is super finicky and can be a big problem. So you can see this one is now bright orange. So if we look at the last one here on the list, to hold it like this. These over here are for the nitrate. And if we look at our color, it's kind of hard to see. <clears throat> but if we look at the color, it's getting down here probably towards 30, 40, 30 or 40 parts per milliliter or whatever. And that is okay. It would be better if it was a little bit lower, but you don't want it at zero and you don't want it this dark, deep maroon either. So you want it to be in this range here, which we are. And fresh water changes every day can help keep that from getting down here. But you don't want to do too much of a water change because you don't want it to be way up here either. So that's the water parameters. <clears throat> your axolotl if you keep those water parameters should be just fine and if you watch the other videos i've posted frankie's got the fungus yeah this can attribute to stuff like that which can really harm your axolotl but that's all for today we've got feeding done and we got frankie's water tested everything looks exactly the way it should be so upkeep on frankie is good 
I'd like to give another big shout out to the workshop for our merchandise. Thank you so much. Go check them out for all your printing needs. And if you're interested in one of the Ramblin' Rich Richardson's shirts, just hit me up on any of our social media. I'd be happy to get one sent out to you. They are for sale. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Peace.